Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 40 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at bullets and numbering inside of Adobe InDesign. So over here we have a list of things and we don't actually have any bullets or anything right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the text right here and on my character editing mode I'm here. So now you can just select bullets right here. So let me just go to paragraph mode right here and you can see that there's bullets right here. So just click on it and you can see that the bullets are being applied just like that. And if you want to edit the types of bullet, uh, just hold Alt on your keyboard and click it and you can see that you'll see a number of options. So I'm going to turn on the preview checkbox so you can see that I can change them into stars. Uh, into diamonds, these arrows are the same right here. I can also add this. So for example, I can uh, select the font that I want to add the uh, bullets from, uh, for example, this one, and then I can uh, select the uh, type of bullet I want. For example, let's say I want uh, this as an example. All right, so just press OK right here. And then uh, just select the font and you can see that this is how the bullet points actually work out. So now uh, what you can also do is you can change the alignment to left, right and center right here. Now alignment, so you can change the left indent as you can see, you can push it out to the further and you can push uh, this out as well uh, to make uh, to align the uh, text just like that and press OK. And this is how the, um, uh, the unordered list actually comes up. So now what you can also do is, let's say for example, uh, you can also add in numbers. So for that, what you can simply do is click on the numbers right here and you can see that the numbers are automatically aligned. So if you were to add something in the list, just press enter and type in something and the number actually automatically updates. For example, if you want to remove this, simply select a few paragraphs or the line which you want to remove and just uh, click on it and you can see that this is how um, the fonts are removed and just press enter. Now if you want to restart the numbering from here simply right click uh, over here add the number and click on restart number and that will restart the number itself. So you can also um, um, let me just press Control Z, go back right here, and you can also select all of these and format it accordingly. So you can go over here, press Alt, and click on this. You can see the option right here. You can change the list type to bullets. You can just uh, change the list type to numbers over here. And over here, you can also change the list type from zero. Uh, you can add in the uh, Roman letters just like this. You can add in this and choose different type of numbering options just like that. Uh, you can also choose the level. You can change the alignment of the text just like this. You can see that this is how it works. And you can um, also change the first line alignment just like this. And you can see that this gives a much more uh, pleasant look to the list. Uh, it was actually not that pleasant uh, in the first go. So you can also choose the character style uh, and then so go to the numbers over here. Um, and what I you, you can also do is create a sub list. For example, for that, just press OK right here. Select a list of characters just like this. For example, this one. And let's say this is the sub list of a uh, fourth um, item right there. So simply hold Alt and click this, and you can see that this is the sub list just like this. And then what I can do is I can select level two right here, and you can see that now I can change it to something else like A B C D, and that creates the sub list. So I want to create an indent right here. So I, you can see that I can create an indent like this for the sub list. And that is how it is uh, created. Let's say if you want to add in uh, 4A, 4B, 4C and so on, you can simply click on here, go over here onto this section, go to insert number placeholder and press level one. You can see that you have 4A, 4B, 4C and so on. So that is how uh, the characters actually works in. So you have one over here. Uh, the first level indent and you got the character and you got the text. So that is how this actually works in. So just press OK and you can see that you can actually press enter and do the same for all of these as well. So uh, this is how you can change the paragraphs. So just select this out and increase the uh, size of the paragraphs just like this. So you can select all of these and then increase the size uh, let me just go on to my character editing mode over here and then increase the size over here add to the top just like this all right so once you exp uh, expand it you can see that you can expand the overall text just like that so that is how um, the bullets and numbering works inside of InDesign hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe